Well, in tonight's special report, a former NFL player ends up on a journey to healing. And CBS 2's Gina Miller shows us uh, Keith Mitchell's inspirational story, Gina. This really is a story of inspiration, peace, and healing. And, you know, it's not often you hear football players talk about empathy and compassion, especially linebackers who pride themselves on making bone-crushing tackles. But Keith Mitchell found that peace after a career-ending play left him searching for answers. It was the play that ended it all. Making a tackle I had made a million times. An all-pro career over in an instant. I was very confused. Keith Mitchell, a veteran linebacker. I was thinking that maybe if I would just move my head, my body would follow, but it wouldn't. Thought he'd never walk again. Doctors had told me that we don't know what's going on. High-low push-up, upward-facing dog, Curl the toes downward facing dog. I have a new way of being, if you will, and um, it's really to do the compassionate thing. It's, it's to create patience. It's to, it's, it's to build that empathy, and um, I love it. I love where we are now. Where Keith Mitchell is now is teaching yoga and meditation, quite a departure from the first career he had as a linebacker for seven seasons in the NFL. Just move with your intention of healing, nurturing, and being compassionate with your body. You play high school football in Texas. You play college football at Texas A&M. Did you ever in a million years as a football player think you'd be talking peace, yoga, and meditation? Of course not. I had no peace. <laughs> That's why I played football. I thought football would bring me peace. But really, you know, football was one of those things that allowed me to, you know, mask those internal things that, you know, I had been through in my life. Keith came to this through necessity. In 2003, while with the Jaguars, he made a routine tackle, but couldn't get up. Keith suffered a spinal contusion and was paralyzed from the neck down for about six months. My nervous system had been like just, you know, knocked out of whack. And um, for me, so really a typical movement exercise wasn't really an option at that point because we didn't really know what was wrong with my spine. So all I could really do was just breathe my way through it. To start the healing process, Keith discovered yoga and meditation. It did more than help him physically. It allowed him to refocus that energy, which made him an all-pro player. My identity, um, the football player, was in real time disappearing, and I was doing everything I could to hold on to it. For me, meditation, conscious breathing, was one of those things that, for the first time in my life, allowed me to open the chapter of Keith and who Keith was. Keith is now a master certified yoga and meditation instructor who teaches classes across the country and breaks stereotypes in the process. So what we're building now is the team of being human and building that camaraderie, building that con concept of community. Yoga definitely saved my life. Meditation, yoga, really it's the same thing. It's, they, they have similar traits. It's really all combined. The whole mindfulness aspect of living saved my life. Keith has taken his platform all over, teaching yoga and meditation to at-risk kids, families in need, retired athletes, and veterans dealing with a variety of issues. And Pat and Paul, this really is a story of reinvention, both physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Linebacker in front of you doing yoga. Yeah. Something to think about. You know, from the ankles down, he and I are built exactly alike. The same. I, I saw it. I, I saw that. that. Yeah. I mentioned the it to him too. The eyebrows might be a little similar <laughs> too, Paul. And the teeth yeah. also. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.